Hey guys, welcome to another viewer question for Level 1 MCAT uh, for the year 2020. So basically, uh, if you do have any questions that you want answered, if you can send it to my email or Instagram or wherever it is, I will end up putting it on this list here and I will try and get to those questions eventually. All right, so let's get started with this question. Um, so basically what we have is we've got a large garden in the shape of a rectangle and it has a perimeter of 44. So the first kind of idea to remember is that we've got this large um, kind of garden. And let's actually say that we've got the length, which is at the bottom here, and the width. Now it says that this has a perimeter of 44 meters. So remember that 44 meters is actually from, if it says it's perimeter of 44, that means the border here is equal to 44 meters. So what we can then say is, because there's actually another L on the opposite side and a width on the left-hand side, we can actually say 2L plus 2W equals to 44. So that's basically the first um, line of this question here. Now the second part, it says the owner shortens the length by 4 and increases the width by 4. So that means he's shortening the length by 4, so that's going to be L minus 4 and then he's increasing the width by 4. So that means this side here is now going to be W plus 4. And I guess the other thing to also remember is that this particular shape is a square-shaped garden. And because it is a square-shaped garden, what we can then say is this is going to be W plus 4, and also this is going to be L minus 4. Now this is a square-shaped garden. That means if it's a square-shaped garden, then um, your length and your width are going to equal to each other. And the reason is because it is a square-shaped garden. So we can actually write a, a second equation, which is L minus 4 equals W plus 4. So I can rearrange this now, and I can write it as L is equal to W plus 4. Um, and of course, bringing that minus 4 across means I'm going to make this into minus 4. And what I've got is L is equal to, sorry, that should be plus 4, uh, W plus 8. Now, if we go to the third part of this question here, it actually says, I'm looking at the third line here, she believes the square-shaped garden will have a larger area. Is she correct? So what we need to do is we need to find um, the area for each of the rectangle one and for the square one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rectangle one first. And with the rectangle one, remember that we had L and W. But we actually calculated what L was equal to because we actually found out that L was W plus 8. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the W, uh, sorry, L with W plus 8. And once we do that, what we can do is we can actually find out the area of this rectangle, which is base times height. So the base is equal to W plus 8 multiplied by height, which happens to be W. Expanding this, I've got W times W, which is equal to W squared. 8 times W is 8W. Now we're going to look at the uh, square. Now with square, again, I want to find the formula for the area. Now I know that it's uh, this side here ends up being W plus 4. And I also had this as L minus 4. But remember, this is a square. If it's a square, then we can actually say that this side, W plus 4, um, the length of that should be the same here. So instead of using L minus 4, I'm going to use W plus 4. And when I do this, I'm going to get area of the square is base times height, which means I'm going to get W plus 4 multiplied by w plus 4. And what I've got here is a quadratic equation. So where is it? So I have uh, w times w, then w times 4, 4 times w, and 4 times 4. And when I do this, I'm going to end up with w squared plus 4w plus 4w plus 16. And if I simplify this, I'm going to get w squared plus 8w plus 16. So now 
if we go and compare the size, the area of the square and the area of the rectangle. So what we can see is uh, area of the square. We've got W squared plus 8W plus 16. Area of rectangle, we've got W squared plus 8W. And you can straight away see that the square is actually um, slightly bigger because it has that 16 units um, extra in it. All right. So what we can then say is you can actually do something like this. Uh, area of square minus area of rectangle. And if this is a pos positive number, then we can say that the square is actually bigger. So the area of square is w squared plus 8w plus 16 minus area of rectangle is w squared plus 8w. So at this point, I need to expand that bracket. So I've got that minus, which is going to get multiplied with w squared, and it's going to get multiplied with 8w to get minus w squared minus 8w. And from here, you can actually see that the area of the square minus area of rectangle is equal to 16 because w squared cancels out, 8w cancels out, and you're left with just 16 as your final answer. So going back to the question there, the question says she believes the square-shaped garden will have a larger area. Is she correct? Um, yes, she is correct. As area of square is 16 units squared. Well, I couldn't say units squared. I think it was meters. So we can actually say meter squared. Area of square is 16 meter squared larger or more than than area of rectangle all right guys that's basically it for this question as always don't forget to like this video share this video and of course subscribe to keep up with the latest content there should be some playlists popping them out popping up somewhere check them out a lot of good revision material there and as always thank you for watching